Hello everyone and welcome. Recently, Nespresso has come out with three limited edition pods for the Christmas season. So I went out, got myself some, and I'm gonna taste them here today. I've got my little elves who are helping me prepare the espresso. And I know it's only November, but Christmas is coming. Starting off with the red capsule, this is the Amaretti flavor, which they say is very reminiscent of an Amaretti biscuit. Uh, probably a traditional Italian biscuit. I also imagine that it's going to be quite similar to an amaretto liqueur. So a lot of these notes that they're describing are going to be uh, big vanilla and almond notes. So that'll be interesting to try. So it looks like they use two coffees in this pod. There's a Brazilian roast that's fairly light and a Colombian coffee um, that is a fairly short and light roast as well. So. I'm actually looking forward to this one. Um, if it's a fairly light and more acidic roast, that'll be kind of unique for an espresso, which often has a lot of kind of dark, heavy notes. So let's try this one out. Oh no. Get back there. All right, so let's go with the espresso. Ooh. Even from here, I can I can smell it. It's very very intensely um, that that sort of almond paste and amaretto note. So just being so surprised at how similar it smells to amaretto and the sort of almond descriptor, um, you know they're not hiding anything on the box. They do say that it it is artificially flavored coffee. Let's give it a taste. It's interesting. It's really creamy textured mouthfeel right off the bat. Um, big almond note, of course. This is one of the cleanest cups I've had. It's it's not very astringent or bitter. It's it's nice and bright and smooth and kind of floral almost, but I wouldn't go that far. So I would definitely drink this alongside some dessert, I think. That would be really nice. Um, it's just a really nice kind of festive um, holiday drink, which is nice that it falls in the category. So I'm going to get some milk and we're going to try it with a little bit of the milk from the Arochino. One moment. A lot of people have this at home as well. I'm not a very big foam guy, so you might see that I leave the foam out. It's just my preference. It's really just similar to like dipping those almond biscuits in a glass of milk, which is really Festive. It kind of reminds me of being back at my grandma's house during Christmas time. I think that it's also a lot more flavorful than a lot of their other flavored coffees. So sometimes their their caramel or their their chocolate, their vanilla, it gets like it it just tastes too dull. Sometimes you don't get like a big flavor. Um, maybe I'm drinking it in a small cup. Um, maybe that's the secret. But let's move on now to the green capsule which says Sav Savure Torta di Noccioli. Probably butchered that, but uh, it also is a Variations Italia. Um, I'm assuming that's like a subcategory they gave it. Toasted hazelnut and vanilla notes. That sounds similar to the one we just had. Flavor Espresso fills out the South American Arabica's lasting cereal notes with notes of toasted hazelnut and vanilla. Like coffee and cake, this espresso is warm and welcoming treat to celebrate the moment together. Sounds pretty nice. So they use a Brazilian coffee and a Colombian coffee as well. I feel like those are almost the exactly the same descriptions. Oh well, uh, I guess maybe they used different coffees or they roasted them slightly differently. Totally um, reasonable. Um, so we'll see. They say that it has a more of a, a hazelnut cereal note and a little bit more sweet maybe. Uh, so let's try it out and see what happens. It also looks like nocciola or noccioli is essentially hazelnut in Italian. Okay, that's like, I don't know if I would call that hazelnut. It's definitely like a, a heavier, darker smell than the red one. Although I, I guess I shouldn't compare. Like a slightly burnt kind of note, but like it's definitely nutty. I don't want to pretend like I'm not smelling anything. Um, yeah, it's just not as um, as acidic. It's not as kind of sharp. 
Um, it's a little more, like I said, dark, bitter, but it's more along the lines of a, what I would think of as a traditional espresso style, and you don't want anything too high acidity, this is probably a good one for you. I've got some milk going, and I think it's done now, so I'm gonna grab some. It's interesting. Um, it's not my favorite espresso with milk. I think it's, it's sweet, for sure. It's, it's a very nice, as like a short style, like with a little bit of milk. When it cools down a little bit, you get more of that hazelnut. Mm. A lot more of that nuttiness coming through. But again, both of these coffees, the flavoring is so much better than some of their other capsules. I'm not sure what the difference is, but maybe they've kept the, the roast fairly light. Maybe that's helped it, I'm not sure. All right, so let's go on to the last one, the Eel Cafe, it's the blue capsule. This one I am excited, but also scared to try. It is a number 13 on the intensity scale. So I think they only have one other one in their entire line that has that level of intensity. So it's probably a very dark roast. And not only is it a darker roast, but they are Robusta coffees, which I'm not a big fan of. You know, they're, they're just typically more very earthy. Um, the way that they're processed sometimes makes them a little more funky and fermented. Uh, and they're typically not the highest quality coffee. A darker but medium length roast is what builds the intensity and boldness in these Robustas, giving them a long lasting taste going a little lighter, but a little longer on the Colombian Arabica. Okay, so they do have a little bit of Colombian Arabica coffee in here to give it a bit of a lighter uh, touch, a bit more acidity, but I doubt that we're gonna be able to really taste that through two um, dark roasted Robustas, but we'll see. Nope, wrong way. Why do I get almost like burnt tire rubber. Um, we'll see. I, I'm trying not to have any preconceived notions. Um, you definitely get the most crema off of these guys, which is makes sense. It's a darker roast. You could even see the capsule was bulging slightly from the CO2 in the ground. So there's so much CO2 in it that um, it would still, when packed inside, would still be pushing out. Uh, from the from the packet, so you can tell there it's a fairly dark roast. I'm gonna need a little palate cleanser for this one. Yeah, so they rate it like bitterness five, roastiness five. Those are out of five. Um, body is four, and acidity is one. So this is definitely my nose does not lie. It is it is heavy, dark, kind of earthy. I don't want to say dirty. It's a negative descriptor, but earthy. Let's give it a shot. It's not as bad as I expected, and I'm getting, I'm, I get some nice kind of, kind of tobacco smoky notes, it's sort of a finish, which I kind of like. Um, I don't smoke, but I, I do like peated whiskey, things that are smoky, and it definitely has a big body, like it's the most textured coffee that we that I've tried. Il Cafe takes you right to the heart of the classic Italian espresso experience. It is our fullest and darkest blend yet. Vietnamese and Indonesian washed robustas, graced with a little Colombian, graced with a little Colombian arabica hit that, graced with a little Colombian arabica hit hit that punchy combination. I I don't think that's a proper sentence, but. Um, hit that punchy combination of smooth, velvety taste and roast, roasty cereal aromas. You know, it's not my thing, but I could definitely uh, try it with some milk. So I'm going to grab some. And I'm, I'm going to think that it'll taste a little bit better. You want a little bit of sweetness from the milk, those natural sugars, um, for these kind of heavy, dark roasts. So, you know, I really almost preferred it as straight espresso. I think that as a straight shot. It is actually kind of interesting for a heavy dark roast. It has those kind of tobacco, leathery, rubbery, kind of smoky notes that I know I'm kind of weird in that. I, I like that. Um, it just reminds me of like mezcal or, or smoky whiskey. Um, but when I throw in milk in there, it, it, it just kind of um, tastes like Starbucks 
bold and, and the sugar from the milk isn't enough to kind of counterbalance it. So yeah, not, not my favorite. So that's really it. Out of the three coffees, definitely the first two, uh, the, the red and the green, check them out. I, I liked them a lot and I think that they will probably be a big hit at your next Christmas party or something uh, if people are actually doing that these days. Hopefully not. But um, in general, nice little offerings. Uh, I don't know how long that they last or are around for on the store. Um, but they are limited edition and I was just glad I could share these with you guys. I also went out and got the four fall limited edition capsules. So let me know in the comments if you want me to take a look at those and taste them. Um, I'd be more than happy to. And I think that those ones are going to be really interesting. They're part of the Master Origin series. So let me know if you want to see that. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I try to release weekly content. I hope you all have a happy week of brewing coffee and I'll see you again next week. Have a great day.